Now being joined by uh, Professor Tahir Mbambar of the Bayes University, a political analyst who also is the Vice Chancellor. Thank you so much indeed for joining us from our Abuja studios. It's been a rather active year on the political front in Nigeria. What do you make of all that has happened in the year 2018? Uh, thank you very much. Um, as it is the practice all over the world, uh, any period, one year to slightly even more than one year to usually with this uh, greater pace of politics and political activities. And uh, this is both so in Nigeria where politics is probably the most uh, profitable uh, activities in the country more than any other thing. And uh, so you find individuals, associations, political associations and groups jostling, you know, for visibility and um, positioning of themselves to gain advantage in the upcoming general elections. And um, you also find the electoral body being kept very busy, uh, starting with, uh, as we know, the uh, registration of more parties, registration of voters, and uh, distribution of permanent voters' cards, which have a lot of implications for the elections themselves. And um, obviously, uh, looking at the outcome and the number of uh, voters across various zones, uh, the political parties will be able to assess for themselves some of the possibilities that uh, they may have or some of the disadvantages that they may have. Uh, but for the voters themselves, it could be a bit confusing, actually, mm. because what um, we tend to see uh, the same set of people uh, for the last decade or so. I mean, if I may come in right party, there, if I may come in at just that point, my apologies. You say it's been decades so, that we've had this, but to be precise, 19 years of unbroken democracy in our country, Nigeria. From what you have observed, though, would you say that our political actors have learned lessons that will help in the sustenance of democracy? Well, uh, I wouldn't say much, actually, because if you notice what happened during the primaries, both of the PDP, the major parties, and APC in particular, uh, there hasn't been much learning. What we see is still the desperation for positions and uh, using all sorts of uh, tactics, underhand approaches to position themselves and uh, to get uh, themselves in as candidates at any cost. So this, this to me, it doesn't suggest uh, a political system where people are actually learning uh, much lessons. Where the parties, of course, have gained some ground, or the country have gained some ground, is where the, uh, such uh, disputes have been taken to the courts and the courts intervening. So and, at this uh, point, forcing parties to uh, at this point, what then will it take? to ensure that politics in Nigeria becomes something uh, that people can aspire to with the sole aim of uh, actually serving the people? Well, the ball is always in the court of the people. Uh, in, a number, in many constituencies and many states in the country, uh, I think the voice of the people somehow have been very strong. Uh, where they are, they are, the awareness level is, is relatively high. Uh, but in others too, you know, they are, they are not getting the candidate that they should be getting. Now, if you take places like, um, in good measure, the Southwest, um, some parts of uh, Northwest, and even North East, like Bochi, Kano, uh, Kano State, these are, not, these are places where there have been a great deal of uh, voter awareness. And therefore, um, you know, they've made a mark in terms of choosing people they wish to have in government. But in other places, unfortunately, that's not, uh, there hasn't been a good showing in terms of voters asserting their power uh, to elect people that they think 
would give them good leadership. And therefore, allowing parties to determine uh, those who will, uh, who will run their affairs. You take, for instance, um, the southeast, south, south, parts of the northeast, you know, you find a situation where probably one or two so-called godfathers will now determine the direction of politics in those That'll zones. be a good place to let it rest. Uh, I must indeed thank you, Professor Tahir Mumbang. He is the political analyst as well as the vice-chancellor of Bayes University in Abuja. Thank you so much indeed for talking to us.